To share a reminder on iPhone, iPad or Mac, open your list, click on the share icon and choose the person or persons from your contacts you wish to share your reminder with. For this to work, both you and the people you are sharing with need to have reminders enabled in iCloud settings. Your reminder will be sent using the Messages app, so you can also add a bit of text to your message too. When the recipient receives your message, they simply need to click on the link and it will open in their Reminders app. Apple calls this Collaborative Reminder Lists because updates made to a list will be reflected on everyone's devices. When someone completes a task or adds a new one, everyone collaborating in the list is updated. As the creator of a list, you can manage it by clicking on the icon of the person you're sharing it with and choosing Manage Shared List. Here you can add additional recipients to your list. You can choose if you wish to be notified about updates, who has permission to add people to the list, and you can stop sharing the list altogether at any time by clicking on the option here. Strangely, you can't share individual reminders, only the list that contains your reminder. You have a default list which contains all your reminders across all your lists, but you can also create additional lists to manage and group your reminders. When you create a new list, you can give it a name, a color, and its own icon. Then you can start adding your reminders. Swiping left on each of your reminder gives you the option to flag it as important, to delete it, or see more details about it. Here you can set a date and time for your reminder, apply tags, and be notified of the reminder when visiting a certain location or when messaging one of your contacts. If you wish to share your reminder with someone on an older device that's not running the latest operating system, you won't see their icon here. Instead, you can simply send them a message, which works in exactly the same way. Having received your message, they can click on the link to add your list to their Reminders app. Alternatively, you can email them the link, which again works in exactly the same way. It's worth noting that you can't share a smart list. When you create a new list, there's an option to turn it into a smart list. This is quite useful as you can add reminders to a smart list based on certain filters, such as a certain tag, a date, or a location. However, as you can see, the share option disappears for a smart list. So that's something just to be wary of. Finally, although I've demonstrated everything on an iPhone, you can of course do exactly the same thing and have exactly the same options to share a reminder on iPad and Mac OS. You can create a new list by clicking here or a new reminder by clicking here and you can share and manage your reminders from the same options found up here. Just remember you do need to have reminders enabled in your iCloud settings for everything to work correctly. So that is how to share a reminder on iPhone, iPad and Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tutorials on all your favorite apps and devices. On this channel, I try to create shorter videos that hopefully give you just the facts without any of the extra fluff. If you have a question or a recommendation for a video, I'd love to hear from you. So drop it in this comment section down below. And you might also be interested in learning how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch and how pass keys are set to replace all of our passwords. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.